Well, today is Veterans Day and ceremonies were held across the region honoring those who served our country. This included the annual remembrance sponsored by the Erie County American Legion at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Buffalo. Today, every year, Veterans Day is very important. We're honored to be the host site for the recognition of all of our veterans. And we're very excited that the ROTC is here and we see the next generation of individuals who are willing to serve. 7,100 veteran graves in the field of valor were decorated for today's special service. And the home of the And veterans were also honored at the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park, where several were recognized posthumously with family members speaking on their behalf. The members of my family who served our country are significant in helping shape our, country, our history and the present day freedoms we're able to enjoy. I think it's important to recognize and honor them for making a difference in our lives. Veterans received free admission to the Naval Park today. President Biden marked Veterans Day at Arlington National Cemetery along with Vice President Harris attending a wreath laying at the tomb of the unknown soldier. There, the president called U.S. veterans the greatest fighting force in the history of the world. Folks, as a nation, we owe them. We owe you, not just for keeping the flame of freedom burning during the darkest of moments, but for serving our communities even after they hang up their uniforms, for inspiring the next generation to serve. Yesterday, the White House announced an expansion of health care coverage for veterans. If you are honoring a service member this Veterans Day, make sure you share your pictures with us. Here are just some of the photos and messages we have received so far today. You could see yourself online or on air too. Just post on social media with the hashtag beyond two.